Dude, I was like, all right, sick. This is the server I'm gonna join. I'm gonna go take a you know bathroom break real quick, you know, before I start recording. Oh god, don't tell me this is gonna be one of those videos again. Yo, can this not happen? I just, I just made all these. Actually, no, I made all these classes before. I just made these classes. Oh shit. Okay, that was one slot. My game crashed. Plutonium bootstrapper is not responding. It'll respond soon, right? Surely. All right, it's not too good. Just, all right. Did it really crash again? It worked fine earlier. Don't tell me my game is bugged again. It did this last time. You know what? I'm gonna put down my controller. I'm gonna go on my phone. I'm gonna wait until it works. You know what? Whatever. I don't care. Okay, you know what? What if? Get this. I'm gonna join. I don't wanna join Nuketown. Can I not join Nuketown? I join a regular server. Will it work? Yes, it will. All right, cool. I just wanna play Search and Destroy. It's not too much to ask for. I'm sick with I'm not sniping. Damn, look at this thing, the foul. Apparently this thing is like really good. For some reason, semi-auto guns are always like absolutely insane in Treyarch games. Yeah, that was kind of brutal. Ooh, the reload is slow. Damn, there's literally no one in the server. All right, the teams have unbalanced. Can I play? Let me in. I can't do shit. Yeah, this thing's broken. All right. Dude, what is this fucking gun? I swear, well, nobody talks about the semi-auto weapons in these games, but they're always like really... Oh no, but they're always insane. Like this right here, this is unfair. This is not okay. It's practically cheating. All right. Yeah, the reload time is kind of annoying, but it might be because I use fast mags and everything. Okay, what the fuck is this thing? How did I not try this thing before? This is my first time using the foul. I do know that they use the pre-nerf DSR in this game. This is also the pre-nerf pal. They had to have nerfed this thing at some point. Cause like two shots at full health, body shot, and whoever you're fighting is dead. Now you do need a good trigger finger, but even then if your trigger finger is just like, okay, like that's good enough. I'm pretty sure this was like one of the first guns to ever get GA'd, like in competitive Call of Duty. Back when riot shields were still allowed. Like they had to GA the foul, cause I think one pro got like way too good at it and everyone started whining. I can't go on streaks, but like that's just how it is in general. That's not like a foul thing. I'm just bad. That's not. So on this thing, I've got the red dot in the clip, and that's it. it's kind of crazy saying that's it, but like I mean, loadouts used to be so simple. I do like gunsmith, but like I, I mean the simplicity though. Yeah, my my trigger finger is busted right now, dude. What if I use keyboard and mouse? Hold on. I think this is my first time playing keyboard and mouse in this channel since like back when I played Minecraft. Okay, this is fucking absurd. This is kind of too far. I find this is a crime. They should GA the gun from Plutonium, like in general. Like, right, hold on. Let me try the PDW real quick. Oh, what the fuck is this radical? I forgot I chose this. They, they nerfed the shit out of it at some point. So it went from like being like around as good as the MSMC to worse. Now it's just another SMG, but it's still pretty good. It feels, it feels nice. Why are you AFK? What? <laughs> I just got annihilated. Okay. Can you believe that there used to be reticle DLC? Like, I know that's still a kind of a thing, but like, the way I'm imagining, like, did you have to, like, pay separately per reticle? That's how it used to be for skins. There's no way, right? I don't feel like getting on the 360 version right now and checking how it actually works, but like, I, I, it's gotta be something weird. At least it wasn't that expensive. Like, it was $3 per skin. I feel like that's a reasonable price. I feel like if there's one game where the economy's kind of nailed how much, like, items are actually worth, it's probably Team Fortress 2. I know one of my friends just fucking, like, lost at hearing me say those words, but it, it, I mean, it's true. Like, 90% of, like, this cosmetics cost like cents probably less than that i want to go all the way into like how it all works mostly just because i don't know how it works like i used it a bit and like for the most part like aside from the very rare items that cost like 10k aside from those items i mean it's it's not that bad i it's more way more reasonable i do want to again thank us for support i barely ask for like subscribers and shit because i forget i do upload every day i upload stuff similar to this so if you like it then i mean you can click the button it's pretty cool now we go what the Okay, let's get right here. <laughs> this went right back. Oh. Uh. Ooh, holy shit. I just went off. I turned on the macro. 41 and 32. I mean, that's... I, I expect better when I'm just using the foul, but like, also I'm kind of garbage. If you want to try this, I do not recommend the 360 version, despite how many times I've recorded it and said it's actually kind of okay for the most part. People can get your IP like easy as hell. I don't recommend it whatsoever. Down plutonium. It's free.